we know contact tracing has proven to be a really important step in helping to stop the spread of this virus. And Dejanik, some worry though about the privacy issues that come with the tracing. Tonight, 12 News reporter Victoria De Leon goes in depth to explain what it is and how it really works. Well, right now, contact tr participating in contact tracing efforts, it's completely optional. And local health officials say that a lot of people don't understand how it works, and that makes them hesitant to participate. COVID-19 remains a very fast-spreading virus that will remain in Texas, the United States, and across the entire world until treatments are available to mitigate it. Governor Abbott continues to emphasize that Texans must remain cautious. And for some, that might mean taking that call from the health department. Here's how it works. When someone tests positive for COVID-19, the health department will ask for a list of people you've been in contact with. Those people will then get a phone call from a contact tracer to let you know that you may have been exposed. Ronald Fisher works closely with the contact tracers for the city of Port Arthur. And human behavior is driving this, so the contract tracing is important because people are still moving around. While it doesn't seem to happen too often, Ronald says some people won't cooperate because they think it's a scam. Dr. Joshua Sharfstein is the vice dean at the Bloomberg School of Public Health at Johns Hopkins University. Last month, the university launched an online course to explain how contact tracing works, and some people take it simply to learn about the process. People write in things like, you know, my uncle died of COVID and I really wanted to, to fight back and now I'm taking this course. and. It really has a lot of meaning for me because I can help people stay alive. And so that's really fundamentally what public health is about. And that's why we're really pleased to offer the course. It also helps certify those who want to become contact tracers themselves. It's really more about the desire to help fight the coronavirus, help reach out to people in your community um, to, to uh, keep, keep them healthy and, and the people that they care about healthy. So that online course is about six hours long and, again, free to everyone. You can find a link to it on our website. Now, local health officials tell me the more people know about contact tracing, the more likely they'll be to participate and help prevent the further spread. In Beaumont, Victoria De Leon, 12 News. All about the facts. Thank you so much.